I might I add, one who let the others do all of the bidding was NBC News correspondent Frank Burkholzer. Here's his report. If you're married to somebody famous and you break up, what do you do with all the things she leaves behind? Well, if she was Judy Garland and you were Sid Luft, you keep them around for a while and then you sell them. This was indeed her lucky jacket. Sidney Luft was Judy Garland's third husband, father of two of her children. 4,500 is now bid. 47 and a half is bid. And last night he put up for sale to the highest bidder a varied collection of the things Judy left behind when they parted. Some of the bidders were sentimental, like the girl who bought a photo of Wallace Beery and his daughter Carol inscribed to Judy. Well, I love old Hollywood. You know, anything old Hollywood. I love Wallace Beery and Judy, so I got them all together. It's not bad. Some of the bidders were not even Judy Garland fans particularly, like the man who won the bidding for a photo of John F. Kennedy inscribed, Dear Judy, with the warmest personal regards of her friend John Kennedy. Uh, it's really, I'm going to give this Christmas gift to a friend of mine in New York that uh, is really into collecting uh, autographed uh, photographs of uh, presidents and uh, historical figures. And he's a very dear friend of mine, so I, I came here specifically to buy this. I didn't think I'd have to spend that much. A Mandarin jacket that was described as Judy's lucky jacket and her arrangement of Over the Rainbow brought two of the highest bids of the evening. 3000 for the jacket, 1800 for the musical arrangement. Uh, the arrangement of Over the Rainbow, I think, is worth double, if I'm not what I paid for it. And I think all of this, everything I'm buying is major pieces of Americana that it amounts to. I mean, not, I'm not a, a fanatic, a Garland fanatic or anything, I'm, but I'm a collector of Americana, and I love what Garland put into this country's industry, really. I really do. 17 and a half is good. 17 and a half against you, sir. Mary Ann Gordon Rogers from the television show Hee Haw really wanted to buy a pottery camel, but was outbid on that and came away instead with a mycin figure of a paduan cock, or to put it another way, a chicken. Well, I had lived next door to Sid Loft uh, for about six years, up until about four years ago, five years ago, and I had always loved this rooster. And I had always loved the camel, so I came here for the camel and the rooster, and um, I was thrilled that I got at least the rooster, but I didn't get the camel. Going once, going twice. The highlight of the evening was the sale of Judy Garland's 1953 Mercedes-Benz for $60,000. <laughs> It is a steal, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's a classic. There's only very few of them left in the world. It's a marvelous car. Are you a specialist in cars? No, but the person that I'm buying for is. I'm in the clothing business. Rick Meyer bought the car for an unnamed collector who was willing to pay up to 100000 for it. Frank Bergholzer, NBC News, Los Angeles. In a few moments, I'm going to introduce you to Paul Savino.